Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about the Mars Venus conjunction, which is a, which is going to occur July 13th at 25 degrees of Cancer. So we're going to talk about the effects of these two brilliant planets coming together. But before I do, I always want to remind everyone to go to my website and sign up for my free newsletter, which is galacticcenter.org. And while you're there, check out my beautiful spiritual jewelry where I have prayer malas and earrings, all to remind us of our spiritual purpose. So continuing on, talking about this conjunction on July 13th, you know, Mars is passion. And Mars is fiery and Mars is simply that, that essence of energy, a ball of fire. But in Cancer, it's not too fiery. It's kind of weak. It's kind of sentimental, but it's just not at the utmost power it needs to be. And Venus being in Cancer, Venus is not necessarily comfortable in this sign. Although I will say Venus in Cancer with Mars, what is it going to be about? Passion and love, because Venus is love, Mars is passion. In the sign of Cancer, it's overly sensitive. Feelings can go haywire while, while these two planets come together in the emotional sign of cancer. And don't forget, cancer is the sign of home and security. And these two planets together, we are looking for stability and security through love, through relationships. But on the day that these two planets can join on the 13th, this is actually what we call a planetary war, Uda. And they say that the planet that, that is higher in zodiacal degree can win out of the war. Plus, I've also heard that Venus always wins a planetary war because it's always the brightest planet. Regardless on this day, it means that both Mars and Venus are at odds with each other. And they are about relationships. So in your personal relationships, you must find peace. You must find a connection and not be over the top emotional. It's only for a day, but this warning can really help you avert an argument, disagreement, but even a blowout where you could say things you don't mean and you regret. So this is a day, just keep your cool. But at the same time, while Mars and Venus are together, not exactly the same exact degree, a, day, a few days before this would be a wonderful time for connection in love, marriage, and relationship. Why? Because Venus is love and Mars is passion. So there can be an instant attraction. Just make sure it doesn't get overheated on the day that they are exactly conjunct. But another thing that I think is very interesting about this position with Venus and Mars together, for people that have Venus and Mars conjunct in their birth chart, they're extremely magnetic, very sensual, very sexual, because these are the two planets that bring people together, Mars and Venus. People that have this, you can't help but notice them. They're so, well, they have a charisma, a sexual attraction. There's, there's just this, this energy that people are drawn to them with this conjunction. But it being in Cancer is oversensitive. And people with it in Cancer have to realize that other people have, have feelings too, not just them, because they consider how they feel, thinking their feelings are more important than others. And this is something that, that on this day, 
When we stand back and realize this, we will avert so many problems. But going to the nakshatra that they sit in, it's a slasha. And this is a very powerful nakshatra. The symbol is a snake. And yes, a lot of people refer to it as being sneaky, but I have heard that a slasha is just a wonderful nakshatra for business and those that operate in the business world. It gives a great deal of intellect and intelligence. A slasha is ruled by Mercury. So it is this profound, deep thought process. And by the the fact that it's that it's actually in the sign of cancer cancers about protection and cancers about nourishment so this is a very good placement for business dealings to have both Mars and Venus together and especially with business dealings that pertain to products that deal with love romance beauty passion those are going to be the things. So perfume, uh, flowers, things of that nature, giving gifts would be a good way to use this energy to give a gift, give a gift of beauty. Think about sending someone flowers or buying them something that they've always wanted. This would be the best use of this energy to give back, to nourish and to heal. But Aslatia, also the symbol for the snake, is used in the scepter of healing that all doctors use in the medical staff. So with this, Aslatia is known to be a nakshatra that deals with healers, doctors, and because its symbol is a snake, it represents poisons. And these poisons, there are poisons, of course, that are used to heal, such as drugs, antibiotics. They kill off the germs or the disease in the body to heal it, such as in strep throat or these kind of uh, diseases that need an antibiotic to heal. This is all part of the energy of Aslatia, to heal. And even homeopathic remedies and medicines, they take very, very low, low doses of a poison. And this kicks in the immune system to heal. So you see, during this time that we have Venus and Mars come together, these powerful planets, they can heal. It can even heal issues around love and relationships. But maybe there's some discoveries coming about in the realm of healing with energy and emotion. But you know what I've always, always said? There is nothing that heals more than the power of love. And that's what I think this day and this time period when Mars and Venus are close together in the sign of cancer, they can be used that through love, understanding and realizing that love heals all. So use this time frame intelligently and powerfully and give love. Send someone a card of love and appreciation and you will see that it can be life-changing. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like more information on me, always remember to go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. And also remember, if you want to study Vedic astrology, go to my university website, which is universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.